Hello, folks, and welcome back to Chris Wyatt. What follows is a compilation of analysis and video raw footage from purportedly from the Ukraine. I cannot attest to the provenance of these videos or who recorded them. They're all in the public domain, widely available on multiple social media platforms. They are available publicly. I am bringing this to you with analysis to help bring some clarity to the current conflict in the Ukraine after the Russian invasion. It's today is day seven, the 2nd of March, 2022 number of events taking place. Once again, I cannot determine the provenance or origin of these videos or the veracity of them. However, after analyzing the video and knowing the events and the players involved, they appear to be roughly accurate as to what's happening here. This is the current disposition of Russian advances within the Ukraine as of today, the 2nd of March, 2022, provided by the United Kingdom's Defense Intelligence Defense intelligence indicates that the Russians have progressed not particularly far in the eastern Ukraine, in the Donbass region, particularly in the north. They have advanced to the gates of Kiev, but yet to take Kiev a week into the invasion. You can see on this map that the Russian controlled area in the northern part of the country is the largest, with the exception perhaps of advances from the Crimea in the south. Remember, of course, the Crimea was annexed, attacked occupied and annexed by Russia in 2014 during the presidency of Barack Hussein Obama and vice presidency of Joseph Robinette Biden. This is the current disposition of what is going on in the Ukraine as of today. Last night, the 1st of March in Zitomir, 135 kilometers west of the nation's capital of Kiev, the Ukrainian army's 95th Airborne Division base was attacked, most likely in an airstrike, as no Russian troops have been reported in the vicinity, most likely it was an airstrike. There were explosions in the warehouses of a tank factory in Kharkov today. You can see that here in this short video. Folks are concerned that Kharkov may in fact be threatened with encirclement just as Maripol has been encircled. Should that be the case, the Russians likely to pound into submission. I submit to you, looking at these videos and this footage here, this is not legitimate. These are not military targets. These are not bases, they're not aircraft, they're not armored vehicles, they're not infrastructure. These are civilian housing areas, these are shopping centers, these are civilians under attack in Kharkov. This is not acceptable. Russian forces reportedly responsible for this damage in Kharkov that you see in front of us here. The carnage in Kharkov is unmistakable. Civilian housing, apartment buildings bombed, office buildings, very old buildings attacked, senseless attacks on civilian infrastructure here. Total devastation here. These are all purportedly from Kharkov today, the 3rd of March, 2022, as the Russian assault continues. Kharkov is on the verge of being encircled, reportedly, according to authorities, from the situation. In the town of Balakalia, southeast of Kharkov, was captured by Russian forces after Ukrainian soldiers withdrew. Purportedly, these are Ukrainian troops leaving the small town of Balakalia, southeast of Kharkov. <gasps> Вот мы да видим, вот перед вот, нами. Вот. Да, мы видим. Возле администрации. Вот. Не, э, 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 ой, вот. If these reports are true, it appears as if the Ukrainian forces have abandoned the city and left Balakia to its own with Russian forces having captured the town.
The battle for Maripol continues. The city is completely surrounded, as I mentioned a short while ago. Several Ukrainian tanks reported destroyed in the surrounding area here in the countryside. You'll see at least two Ukrainian tanks destroyed. This one is not as obvious to the eye, but it has been destroyed and mobilized. The next one, you can see considerable damage on it as these folks drive around the countryside here. mayor is calling for support from Ukrainian combat groups, ostensibly civilian groups, and units in the area to help support the town. Here you can hear the firefighting taking place in Maripol as we continue this report. Meanwhile, drone footage from an unknown source shows a continuing resolve of civilians in the face of Russian assault as they make valiant but foolhardy efforts at constructing barriers to stop Russians on a major highway in the Ukraine, making themselves fodder. Very foolish effort here by civilians. Folks, stay tuned for the program and more updates. Here you can find all the alternative sites other than YouTube. Also on Linktree, you'll find all of my social media in one place. Feel free to join me there and stay tuned to Chris Wyatt for continuing updates on the situation unfolding in the Ukraine.